History. What is the hardest part about studying for a history exam? The answer, of course, is dates. That's right, dates. And we're not talking about the kind of dates that this creepy guy goes on. Hi there. We're talking about moments in history. And there are quite a few moments to remember in history. I mean, how many wars and revolutions and treaties have there been? A lot. At least four. Which is why, I mean, what you're going to see is an actual example of American history exam. When was the battle of Epimane? A. 1861. B. 1863. Or C. 1865. Hard to know the answer when you've got other dates occupying your brain. Hi there. Which is why we've come up with ways to make studying easier. Notice the kind of story everyone keeps it? That's right. They all begin with 186. Odds are, the last digit will be different for each option, which means when you're studying, you only need to memorize two words. Mathematics and five. By cutting out 75% of all your work, a one-hour study session now lasts 15 minutes. Declaration, six. Watergate, three. Move, nine. Four. It's that simple. One digit is all you need. Word of caution, however, this special method may cause confusion elsewhere in life. Congratulations, Hawkins State. It seems like only yesterday we were first in back in two. And the Red Sox are four world champions.